There you go. Get a little altitude. Just in, there you go. Ready to fly. Yeah! Hey, welcome to May Star City Foam Fighters. It's me, Mr. Marshall, and I got Lucas here. And uh, Lucas brought to the table the MF15 Eagle. And uh, why don't you take us through your build and how it went? And we'll take this bad boy out and fly it. Um, our build went pretty, pretty, pretty well. Um, I had some uh, faulties that I messed up on. Like, I glued my servos in the wrong spot, and that was a problem, and um, uh, the nose, that kind of messed it up, too, but other than that, it was, it was a pretty good build. Sweet, and what are you using for them? So you're just using a supersonic, so yeah. that standard point to 12, you can come over here, Todd, check it out. He's got himself his um, 30 amp ESC, ready for his batteries, receivers all in there. It's excellent, dude, you did a good job on, uh, on this. I think the only, um, the only critique that we can give for next time would be to, uh, we usually like to have our bevel cuts on the bottom, right? Right. Okay, so this one we actually left them on top, which is a, you know, an easy mistake. We all do it, I do it all the time. Doesn't really affect anything, but just makes it look better when it's on the other side. And then the servos. We want to make sure that the servos, or the servo horns, are closer to the actual bend, right? Because yeah. we don't, we have a lot more give and it's, it's, it's um, we have a lot more slop. So if we have it tighter, get it closer and, and we'll be good to go. He also did something that was kind of cool. Uh, Ty, if you want to look at this. The way Ashton designed this elevator, you know, it, it works out great if um, nothing's wrong with it. But the, the problem is that this can get kind of weak after a while. You know, and you put this thing away and it dings up and stuff. You just got some simple rods um, and placed them across and that was a good idea, bud. And it really strengthened it up and and it keeps it from ever bending in the future. So um, that should be pretty good. Other than that, you know, a um, couple of mistakes here and there, but it's not gonna prevent you from having a good flight. So you ready to go take this bad boy out? Yep. All right, man, good job, Lucas. Let's go fly this thing. We are out here with on a beautiful day, beautiful day, um, with Lucas and his uh, MF-15 Eagle. He's gonna try it out. And uh, his co-pilot today is gonna be Mr. Joe. And um, wish you the best of luck, Lucas, and we'll talk to you after the flight, man. Right. Okay, here, I'll throw it up for you. Cool. All right, I'm gonna come around, and I'm gonna give it to you guys that are flying away. Okay. So, like, see how my fingers, they're not really moving that, like, much? It's only okay. about a quarter of the thick? Okay, here, I'm gonna give it to you. There you go, it's yours. Good job. Just get a little altitude. Good job. Get a little altitude. There you go. Nice. That's real smooth. Good job. Just Keep a little altitude, especially as, as you're turning. You got it? I got it. All right, it's yours. There you go. There you go. Yeah, make your turns right there, and it'll just always be in front of us. Perfect. You got it? You got it? Oh, nope. Got oh, it. I got it. <laughs> oh, Good job, Mr. Joe. Keep that plane in front of you. Okay. Uh, it's yours. There you go.
Uh, yeah, I got it. All right, so you know, I'll take it up a little higher. Okay. So try to fly it like up here, okay. and then that should take care. That's yours. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. Can't tell. Oh. Go a little left. Left. There you go. You can't tell. It's, I got it. Can you get it now? Yeah. There you go. I got it. All right, it's yours. There you go. Get a little altitude. Just in, there you go. Good job. Yeah. That's weird. All right. There you go. It's yours. You don't have to get that. Keep the nose. There you go. Keep the nose down a little bit. There you go. And then just try to go past this a lot more. Like, so you're making a wider, like a longer turn. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, another stage! There you go, it's yours. How's it going, Lucas? Good. Good? Yeah. Mr. Joe's doing some amazing saves. Yeah. Good job. Just, and go way past this. Keep the nose down. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Keep that nose up. There you go, there you go. Good job. It's good. Get some altitude. Perfect. There you go. You got it. Oh, I got it. There you go. It's yours. Just with those two control services in the back, do you think is it hard for him to still roll it or no? Um, I don't. Know. I got it. I got it. I got it. Um, I'm gonna come around this way. We'll, we'll see here. Oh, you can still turn it. Yeah, and that was no elevator. Just okay. There. Um, there you go. It's yours. Yeah, I'm thinking we may even want to move the CG a little forward because see how it's wobbly. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Good job. Nice. Oh, I got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Another <laughs> set. All right. Uh, it's yours here. About 30 more seconds. There you go. Good job. That wind's kicking it too. Uh huh. I got it. Here, I'm gonna bring it in. Yeah, bring it in. It's getting gusty. Lucas, how'd it go, man? Um, it was pretty good. Um, I had a couple saves that you know had to do, but other than that, it was some good. amazing saves, right? You better yeah. thank this guy because yeah. <laughs> you still got a plane. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if I would have been able to do that. Um, we got about 15 mile hour winds, if that, today. Yeah. Um, and uh, you did a fantastic job, dude. You get a couple more of these underneath your belt, and you'll be able to uh, rock and roll with this thing. Um. What's the next? What's next for you? What's next for Lucas before the year um, ends? I think I'm gonna try to do another plane just to see. Oh. Uh, Different if I can do, yeah, yeah, do a, a flight test one and see how good I do. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome, Joe. Do you have anything to say? You did a great job. Um, it definitely the the plane is pretty responsive. Like I was able to roll it without even. Um, 
without even using the elevator. Wow. Where I remember, I think when we were doing Lindsay's plane, like I had to use the elevator. So this is all, it was pretty responsive. What I would do is uh, maybe we would move the CG forward a little bit. Yeah. Um, because, or you can just decrease the amount of throw, maybe just at like 80% of where it is. Cool. But with how windy it is, sometimes you may just want to move the CG forward just because of the wind. Right. And then, you know, if there's no wind, you can move it back to like where you normally fly. Perfect. Yeah. Cool. Good job, bud. Thanks. Thanks for watching.